This is the nature of change. If you resist it, you have frustration and suffering. But on the other hand, if you understand change, you don't cling to it, you let it flow, then it's no problem. Sunday about 11.30, everything's done. I wasn't gonna film, but I just got a text message from a buddy of mine, Ashley, and she said that I have inspired her to get back to where she once was. Ashley, you may be looking at the videos and stuff like that, and you, you may be following along with the journey, but honestly, you inspired yourself, Mom, because you want it bad enough for yourself. And that's the only thing you need. And I understand it was a failure, but the thing is this. With failure, once you've gone over it and you use it to motivate you to push yourself that much harder, then you, that's when you truly know what victory is. Because you want it that much more. And once you accepted it, you can move on from it. Once you move on from it, victory is just that much more sweeter. So just keep pushing. I'm here. Like I told you last night, I'm here. And to Goliath, you got one year before you go to the police academy and you got your interview on Monday morning, which would be, what, the 1st? I think I'm already lost on my dates. It'll be October 1st when your interview comes up. Um, thank you. For wanting to be a part of this journey and you know asking me about it and I'm telling you everything about it and you know you're gonna be one hell of a cop so just keep that motivation in your own head you're gonna do this um, to Jared Caleb Shaw thank you guys for the text messages the videos it, it does motivate um, Caleb thanks man Thanks a lot for all the help. Thank you for, for keep being there, especially on Monday's video. And then yes, I think it was yesterday, Friday's, Saturday's video. Yeah, um, it helps. It helps, man. And Jared, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I'm proud of you for the work that you're doing. And I'm proud of you for the way you served your country when you did. And I'm proud of you for Wednesday's episode of Navy SEALs. It's going to be bad, man. I got it on DVR. I can't wait, dude. Um, and Caleb, Caleb came out on, you know, the, a commercial too. I forgot what it was. Dude, don't kill me, man. It was like Taco Cabana or it was one of those, dude. It was a hell of a commercial. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So, Monday, I'm going to hit the gym and we'll continue from there. Remember, guys, we don't lose in the fourth. Monday, didn't get the workout in this morning. I did get my carbs in, just not the workout. I had to get the class, so I was running a little late. But well, guess who's here with me? Yeah, shut up, I'm not proud of it. <laughs> I don't even know, that is. it's called the, the Yim. I think it's a soft G. I think the G is silent, it's a Yim. So yeah, between the both of us, I think she'll be the one that dies after the 30 minutes. I'm really dying being a fat kid in a sweater. Hey, actually that's one of the hashtags I use is hashtag fat kid. <laughs> because I do listen to the song from Nothing More Fat Kid while I'm working out, so um, gonna rule the world. if you do use this or anything, always throw down. I'm trying to not make it a trend or nothing, but I'm using the hashtag rule the world. Mm -hmm. And my buddy actually actually came up with that. So That's cool. let's get this started.
workout in, and I'm busting my ass, dude. Um, started talking with Jared, texting back and forth, and, you know, they want me to hit the pole. Him and his brother have the same mentality, you know, work hard. Um, but they're both very proud of my progress. If I, probably going to put up their text message from Jared right about here, if I can. Um, but I haven't erased it by this point. Um, but I wanted to get on here real quick because I, you know, I did share the videos of working out. Um, this morning I saw this kid there and, you know, they're waiting in line to get something to eat and they had messed up on their order and they were just being very, very polite and they're waiting. And the people who got my order, my carbs, and Jerry said I can have carbs, Caleb. Get that straight. I don't want to get in trouble. Um, and I told the people, you know, hey, uh, they were here first, Ma. You know, they've been waiting here for a while. They look like they've been waiting here for quite some time. And these are kids. They're freshmen in high school doing dual credits. And they were like, oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And he started to spark the conversation with me. And the conversation was, what are you going for? And I go, psychology. And I go, and you, sir? He goes, engineering. That's the exact look I had on my face, and he was extremely polite, and he, he had a good head on his shoulders, you know, so I gave him a little motivation, and I told him, you know, life isn't always easy, and the field that you're going in, it's a hell of a field, and when it gets tough, because it will get tough, just keep pushing, man, you got to keep pushing every day, when people tell you you can't, you keep going, because Within, within yourself, dude, there's a winner. Even if we think there's not. I myself have that issue. I don't think I'm a winner. That's why I'm on this journey, because I, I'm tired of feeling like a loser. So... I gave him this big old speech, man. By the end of it, he was just, he was amazed by it. And uh, I really think I, I can't even repeat that because I think it was more like just for him. One of those things when you meet people, and that's how it ends up. But I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick. So I got to get going. I got to get ready for my other job. Well, today's the last day. It's Friday. I'm just editing the day, as always. Um, so before we get to the gym, interesting story to tell. I'm late this morning. I'm rushing to class. And got my Lalo's tacos on. They're ready to go after I'm done with my workout. Um, so I'm rushing into class. I'm trying to cross the street. You know, I look both ways. I start, I start like going, and here comes this girl in the black Ford truck. Damn near hits me. Damn near runs me over. You know what she's doing the entire time? Looking down at her fucking phone. I'm like, fuck, dude. Like within a foot, I'm not even playing. Then I'm walking up, and I, I know, I notice a car's reversing. The car that's reversing, the guy's looking straight back. He doesn't even look in his blind side, which I'm in his blind side. He almost fucking hits me. Almost runs me over too. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on, really? And this dude's on a motorcycle and he sees it. And I'm just like... Dude, people are just trying to piss me off today. Nobody cares about anything. Nobody cares about, like, looking, being careful where they're going. People are trying to do things with their life. So, 
I guess the moral of that story is, guys, please keep your eyes open. You know, I know you're saying, oh, but yet you're driving around talking on the cell phone. You know what? I'm also in an empty parking lot. Except for that guy using the blower over there. Um, just be careful. I'm about to go bust my ass in this gym for about 30 to an hour, depending on how my knee feels. I'm having issues today with my knee. But, I don't know. It's kind of like Caleb said, you know, when you're trying to make a change, things start coming at you. Uh, Caleb, I had a truck and a car coming at me. One more thing before I go. I'm going to be busting ass on this today. In a remembrance of the, the people we lost for, you know, from cancer, like my tia, my tia Bia, mi tia Maria, everybody else that we've lost, all the survivors. So, hashtag fight like a girl, fight like a girl, and I'll keep going, dude. Jared, thank you for the motivation this week. Caleb, thank you, as always, as well, man. I'm proud of both you guys and everything y'all have accomplished, just like y'all telling me that y'all are proud of me, so. Oh, this is gonna hurt. My knee's killing me right now, so <clears throat> let's get it started. I'll see you guys Monday. Right about there.